When I was in the first grade, the principal of Riverside Elementary School, tall, lanky, red-headed Mr. Bush, called my mother into the principal's office. He said, Rhoda, he knew my mother. I had three older brothers going to Riverside Elementary School. Rhoda, I hate to tell you this, but your little girl is not as smart as her brothers. <laughs> She can't read. Well, from my point of view, who would want to read? We were reading Run, Spot, Run. Reading was boring. The previous three years in my mother's life had been rather tumultuous. After caring for her blind and bedfast husband, my father, who was dying of nephritis, he had died three years previously, leaving my mother with four children under the age of nine and a 13-year-old to raise and a mountain of debt. She was struggling to put food on the table and put clothes on our backs. It was a confusing, chaotic time. There's a picture of me in the first grade holding on to a little crocheted dress with a look in my eye that seems to say, what is happening here? I felt lost and confused. My mother was kind of fix-it woman. If there was a problem, she was going to fix it. If I couldn't read, well, I was going to learn how to read. So on the way home from the principal's office, we stopped at a large two-story brick building. The sign on the building said, Idaho Falls Public Library. And I later found out the upper level was the adult section and the bottom level was the children's section. I had never been to the library before. My mother took me by the hand. She opened up the big double doors. We walked into this large room. There was a round, speckled, round woman waiting to greet us. She said, welcome to the library. I later came to know that her name was Mrs. Anderson. I looked into the room. There were shelves of books on every wall. And in the center of the room, there were little tables and chairs just my size. My mother pulled up two of these miniature chairs, set them in front of a section, and she said, take out a book. Well, I pulled out a book. She began to read. One part of the book said, Straw the horse had a toothache. Petunia! Surely, with all your wisdom, you can stop this horrible pain. Glad to help, said Petunia. Open up your mouth. My, 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 look at all those teeth. No wonder you have a toothache. Look at me. Do I have any teeth? Of course not. I'm just going to pull out all of those teeth. I'll go get the pliers. <laughs> it was a great book. Mother said, pull out another one. I pulled out another book. Wilbur blushed, but Charlotte, I'm not a terrific pig. I'm just rather ordinary. Oh, another wonderful book. My mother said, pull out another one. I pull out another and another and another until she had read a whole pile of books that were laying on the floor. Mrs. Anderson came up and she said, would you like to check out those books? Why, we sure would. And we put those books on the librarian's desk. My mother took the little cards from the flap of the book, and she signed her name and telephone number. I could see that there were a lot of other people who had read that book before us. And we went home. After supper, my mother sat me down on our little multicolored stool, put the books right beside me, and she said, Now, I want you to look at the pictures and tell me what the story says. So she started doing dishes, and I took the books and told her what the picture said, went through all the books. It was so exciting. The next day, Mrs. Mitchell, my first grade teacher, pulled out our readers, run, spot, run. But something clicked inside of me. I realized that if I learned to read those boring words, then maybe someday, I could read those much more exciting words in the library. 
Every week, I begged my mother to take us to the library, and she did. We spent hours in the library. In the second grade, my mother said, Carla, I am so busy. I just don't have time to spend those hours in the library. I'm so busy, and she was. I said, well, just drop me off, and she did. Probably most parents wouldn't do that these days, but she did, and the library became my second home. Mrs. Anderson had lots of suggestions for me for books. In the third grade, she said, I think you'd like Nancy Drew. George, who was a girl, lit the candle and descended the stairs. Nancy, but there was no reply. Suddenly, the candle flickered violently and went out. George could hear the footsteps coming closer. The tread was too heavy to be Nancy's. I read every book in the Nancy Drew series. Mrs. Anderson said, I think you'd like Little House on the Prairie. I did. Ma and Pa, Lara, Mary, Baby Carrie. I read all the books in that series also. And this went on for several years. One day Mrs. Anderson said, I think it's time for you to go upstairs to the adult library and I have a suggestion for you. Wuthering Heights. Heathcliff was there, laid out on a table. His eyes met mine so keen and fierce I started. I could not think him dead. Oh, uh, I fell immediately in love with Heathcliff. I went back downstairs to Mrs. Anderson. She said, I think you'd like Shakespeare. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? I did love Shakespeare. And the adult library became my home. This went on for several years. High school graduation. It was time for me to go to college. I was just a tad nervous about going to college because I was going to be living with five other girls instead of the four boys that I had been raised with and I rather suspected that it would be a little bit different and it was. Also the classes were hard. They were much harder than high school. I felt like that little girl clutching onto my crochet dress saying, what is happening here? One day I took a different route through the campus buildings back to our apartment up the hill. I rounded a corner and stopped. There was a building I had not seen. It had a sign on it, library. My heart started beating wildly. I raced to those big double doors, flung open the doors, smelled that scent that only a library has, looked over the different sections, planted myself in front of one, grabbed a book, laid it in my hand, pressed the pages down with my fingertips, and knew I was home. <laughs>